it's all primed up I started doing a little dry sanding getting it ready for the final paint and I had to put a little touch of uh, polyester glazing putty right on that corner it had a little dip in it and this side had the same not bad just a little bit a little, little skim coat and you'll be so proud of me I did not put any filler on any of the door jam is that awesome or what nope didn't need it looks pretty good normal kind of the way they built it and the same here I just scuffed it and it looks pretty darn good What I've been using is these, uh, on the curved surfaces, these sponge pads. They're 3M super fine sponge pads. And they're about a, I'd say maybe a four to 500 grit. It's just about perfect for getting ready for the final sealer and paint. And I did use a block on these areas and there, but where it's all curved like this, it's almost impossible but uh, I did do the top it's all flat so all the little curves and all the little wrinkles I use those sponge pads and I've used them a lot in the past as long as you don't push super hard um, you don't want to leave grooves but you just lightly scuff it because that's what you need to get the paint to stick and I got a little bit more to go and I gotta sand that a little bit on each side I'll just give it a shot of primer surfacer right on those areas. Sand it again and it will be ready. Yippee! Well, I got some primer surfacer on there. Still got my respirator on. That's just making out a noise there. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking better already. I'm going to give it a couple more coats. We'll be done for the night. Final prep before paint. Uh, took all the basking tape off, vacuumed it out. I'm looking where the uh, rubber piece fits here. So, this area right here to there has to be blended and I've never blended before so first thing I'm going to do is uh, smooth out the edge I'm going to back it off a little bit with some bent uh, tape and we'll put the uh, sealer on and uh, we'll put the clear or the base coat on and then we'll pull it back a little farther I'll scuff a little bit of this and we'll clear it really good and then when we buff it out it should be sanded out it should be good um, but it's not a very visible spot but I do want it to look good right here other than that uh, it's pretty much ready to go except for uh, final cleaning and retaping we'll see how it goes um, now it's time to remask again the part I hate the most. So oh, I'm on my way. We'll just keep masking it off and get some plastic on it. And then I gotta get out the brand new gun. And I gotta get the practice door down. We'll see how it goes. I just shot the uh, practice door, played with the gun a little bit, and I turned around and uh, went ahead and shot it. Uh, that new gun and everything worked out real good. It laid down real smooth. That's my first coat. It's not quite dry yet. Looking pretty darn good. For the first coat anyway. I did get a little bit of run here. I had my uh, 
have my little uh, touch-up down there spraying, trying to get inside the hinge. And I did get a little grip there. I'm going to let it dry. Maybe I can stuff it out. And then we'll go for round two. Yeah, uh, the new gun and this paint is looking really good. Well, it's still airing out in here. I got the fan blowing yet. Um, I got my third coat of clear on, and I only gave the third coat on this area here that I'm going to buff. Um, I'm not really going to buff down in here. It went on super nice. That new gun is awesome. And so that's just two coats there. And uh, it's not perfect. Uh, I got a slight sag on that side and I got a you look at a distance you can just see a slight sag right there but it looks good I'm gonna let that exhaust fan run for another probably half hour 45 minutes and then I'm gonna close her up for the night <laughs> 